Hello and welcome, my name is Evan Butson and this is another Premiere Pro CS5 quick tip. Since CS4, uh, Premiere has had the ability to import a uh, Final Cut Pro XML file so that you could bring an edit uh, from Final Cut Pro directly into Adobe Premiere and um, have access to all of those edits, the handles and so on, um, of a multi-layer sequence, um, which is a significantly better way of working than using EDL, which is a very limited and sort of older way of moving projects around. With CS5, Adobe sort of looked at the workflow of many companies and you know, realized that there are still a lot of companies that are using Final Cut Pro uh, that still want to make use of some of the benefits um, of Premiere CS5 and in fact uh, Production Premiere or Master Collection CS5. And so they looked and they built in the ability to send uh, a Final Cut Pro sequence back out to Final Cut Pro, round tripping as it were, which means that you can bring material in or edits in from Final Cut Pro, but you can also send the material back out to Final Cut Pro. And it really just makes life easier for companies that are running a combination of both Adobe applications as well as uh, programs such as Final Cut Pro. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'll lasso a couple of clips here. And for fun's sake, I'm actually going to use some Canon 7D footage, which was shot uh, 720p at 50 frames per second. I'm just going to go ahead and use the quick tool to immediately make myself a nice timeline in the format of the clip I just selected. And I'm just going to lasso all of those clips and pop those all in the timeline like so. I'm not going to do a, 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 like an, any, a complicated edit as it were uh, because the, the, the process is pretty much the same no matter how complicated the edit is. I will however put my clips um, on, let's, let's, on a couple of different tracks uh, just to do something that you couldn't do with say an ED, a standard EDL which is limited to two, two channels of video and two channels of uh, four channels of, of mono audio. So I've got myself you know a nice little edit there you know nothing spectacular of my Canon 7D footage, which is my sequence, if I go and select it here, is 1280 by 720 running at 50 frames per second. And if I wanted to play that back, uh, I'll set my play playback resolution to one quarter. And I can just press play. And there we are. Thanks to the Mercury playback engine, um, even on my 13-inch uh, MacBook Pro, I'm able to play back Canon 7D footage at 50 frames per second in high def in real time, which is incredibly useful. I'm going to go ahead, however, and I'm going to choose Export to Final Cut Pro XML file. It's going to ask me to save my project, and then ask me where I want to save the file. I'll pop it on the desktop, and let's call this Final Cut Pro Import. And click on Save. We can also send out an OMF file or an AAF file, for instance, if you're going to an Avid uh, workstation. I'm going to switch across to Final Cut Pro here, and I'm going to go ahead and choose Import XML. And there's my Final Cut Pro X Import XML file that I just created out of Premiere Pro CS5. It's going to ask me where it wants to bring it into. Uh, my, sequ or my project called Delete is where it's going to go, um, and it's going to reconnect the media automatically. Now, interestingly enough, the material we use, which is the Canon 7D uh, footage, isn't actually playable by Final Cut Pro natively. Um, you'll see it's got my material in there, and it's got all my clips in there, multiple layers, like so. However, um, because Final Cut Pro can't actually play back 7D footage in real time, when I'm paused over it, it looks fine. As soon as I press play, however, it gives me the unrendered marker. So this is still not a perfect solution because um, if you are going to Final Cut Pro, unless you're editing in either DV or ProRes 422 files, uh, Final Cut Pro is either going to need to render or have all of the material batch converted. You will also uh, suffer some of the limitations of doing this in terms of, for instance, if you'd used uh, 50 frames per second uh, 7D material but used the interpret footage function within Adobe Premiere to play that footage back at, it, at a new, different frame rate, say 25 frames per second to get really nice slow-mo, Final Cut Pro just doesn't understand how that could possibly happen. So you will have to manually go take those particular shots into cinema tools and then convert those to 25 frames per second material then render those out as ProRes files before relinking them into your Final Cut Pro sequence. However we could still go ahead and do some changes here I'm just going to pop this clip over here like so let's pop this clip over here like so real make a mess of my edit here um, I'll just minimize that out, those out of the way um, 
and I can actually go ahead and now I'm going to export this out as an XML file and version 4 is what we want I'm going to click OK and onto my desktop I'm going to call this from Final Cut Pro and click on save and then if I navigate into, back into Adobe Premiere I'll get rid of all of this timeline in here so it doesn't confuse you and choose File Import you'll see there's my XML from Final Cut Pro click on open and there if I go and pull up my sequence there is my Final Cut Pro sequence that I have imported from Final Cut Pro however because of the uh, Mercury playback engine I can go ahead and at any stage just press put my cursor over there press play and get real-time playback of my 7D 50 frames per second footage. So that's a little uh, run through of round tripping to Final Cut Pro using uh, C uh, Premiere Pro CS5 uh, round tripping to Final Cut Pro. Hopefully you found that useful. Uh, by all means keep an eye on my website. I will have quite a few more of these CS5 tips and tricks in the coming weeks as well as I'll have links to my upcoming uh, Adobe Connect sessions um, that will go through uh, each of the new features of Premiere or in fact uh, CS5 as a whole in a lot more detail.